Welcome everyone, I'm Joe the Lawn Warrior, and today I will be throwing down liquid iron at my house. I just got done earlier throwing down the uh, Midnight by the Lawn Whisperer. It's a 1200 a liquid iron product. It has 5% chelated iron in it, but today I'm going to be throwing down at my house a something a little bit different. So let's get started. <music> So what I'll be throwing down at my house is a product called Main Event Dry Iron. Just want to give a quick shout out to No Cost Turf. He actually sent this out to me to try at my house. Uh, this was a three pound uh, pouch as you can see here. I'll leave a link to his store. You can buy it also from his store. So I'll leave a link in the product description below. But he actually did send this to me. He actually sent this to me earlier in the season but I really didn't have a need for it until the fall oversee time. Um, basically what this is is a three pound bag right here I'll just read the ingredients that are in it it's a water soluble um, basically like it's almost like it looks like a sand almost but it's a water soluble uh, product um, so what you do is, is you just mix it up in your tank sprayer and then you can spray it out in your yard uh, the ingredients it's a 600 as you can see here so it has six percent nitrogen um, the iron percentage is a ten percent iron percentage but has 2% uh, chelated iron, and it has 8% of that is water soluble. Um, it does have a little, a couple other micronutrients in there as well. Um, I did spray this down in my yard uh, a couple weeks ago, and it looked awesome. Um, it greened up very quickly afterwards, and I would say it lasted for probably about five to six days um, after I saw that initial uh, darkening. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be doing three ounces uh, per 1,000, uh, that's the recommended rate as well. You can go low, you can go high, um, but what I've seen is, is you don't want to go anything up above that three ounces per 1,000. Um, so that's what I'll be doing. I have everything right here. Um, it's right here in this bucket. Um, so I'll hold it up to the camera so you guys can see. So if the camera can focus, there you go. Uh, you can see it almost does look like a sand almost. Um, so what I'll do is, is I just weigh this out. Uh, I have a little bucket right here. Um, I always make sure I tear the scale down to zero because you don't want to affect the uh, weight of the bucket. So when you put it on your scale, you definitely want to make sure it gets zeroed out. And then from there, I'll be doing three ounces per 1,000. But my backpack sprayer obviously is a four gallon backpack sprayer. So I'll be able to do about 4,000 square feet. So what I'll do is just weigh out enough for the four gallons, throw it in the backpack sprayer, and then once I run out, I'll come back and I'll fill it up again. It's really dark outside right now, um, so what I'm going to be doing is putting a headlamp on my head and spraying it out my yard. The reason why I'm doing it is because I'm running out of daylight, or obviously it's fall time, um, and I just got done doing my sister's house, and by the time I came back, it's dark. So I will not be filming the spraying. What I'll do is, is in the morning, I'll get a quick shot of the yard to show you guys what it looks like and then on Halloween I'll come back obviously I'm at my house I can do it at any time I'll probably come out maybe morning or mid-afternoon just so you guys can see what it looks like uh, it will I know it's gonna look really great because when I sprayed it down before it really did look great and my lawn already is pretty dark so it's gonna look just even better I just want it to pop just a little bit more so when those trick-or-treaters come by on Halloween um, it really stands out so today it is October 28th I'll be spraying it down today and we'll come back later to show you guys the results. So I got everything weighed out here. This is 12 ounces right here. That's exactly what I need for the four gallon tank. Um, as you can see, that's how much it is, 12 ounces in that one quart little bucket that I have right here. This is the headlamp that I use. Um, this is just a USB plug-in. Um, yeah, I really like this. I've had it for probably about two years now. Um, you just plug this into a USB and it, it really does shine really brightly out front. Um, so I do have some landscape uh, lighting as well, so it does help me and I have some spotlights some security lights in certain spots in my yard So that helps as well when I do things at night I try not to do things at night, but with kids um, In the different times of the year you just sometimes have to do stuff at night um, Just because you know I, my first priority is being a father and getting them those kids in bed and making sure that you know they I spend a little time with them so sometimes I do have to come out here and sometimes I just use this so I can get stuff done in my yard and just real quick I know I'm gonna get comments on the items right here behind me 
this, this is like my workbench area for some of the craft stuff I have that I do with the different sign making I have. Uh, there's just some paints right here, a couple buckets and stuff obviously you can see, but the, the paints here I do use for craft work. Um, I do have a DIY channel that I have a lot of different DIY stuff that I do. I do a lot of sign making with uh, Cricut and using different kind of woods and paints and stencils. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff in the winter time, um, I'm, I'll probably be doing some more videos on there as well. So go check out that channel. It's called uh, DIY Warrior. I'll leave it in the video description below the channel. Um, I only have a few subscribers. What I did was is I took off the videos from the, the Lawn Warrior channel and I put those videos on this DIY channel. So again, uh, go check out that channel. I'll leave it in the video description below and please subscribe if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff. So I don't know how well you're going to see this, but I have my tank filled up with water. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put the, the dry iron in here, the main event dry iron. Then I got my little gun here and I'm just going to mix it together. It does turn like a brownish color. That's what liquid iron does look like if, it, if it's not in the, the dry iron form, but in the liquid form. So I just got done spraying the yard. I had to fill up the backpack sprayer twice because obviously it's only four gallons. And obviously four gallons is about a thousand uh, four thousand square feet so i filled it up twice i did uh four gallons on the first time and then i did three gallons on the second uh time that i filled it up i just wanted to make sure i covered all my areas so i did three ounces per 1000 on each each of those mixtures with the four gallons and the three gallons so what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna let all of the solution dry on the leaf blade overnight and then we're supposed to be getting some rain here in south jersey between Friday and Saturday. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to spray today, Thursday, October 28th, just so that I got everything down up before that rain hit. So again, I'm gonna go inside and until next time, I'll see you on Halloween. And I'm back, it is Halloween. It's been three days since I put down the main event dry iron at my own house. I had to put it down at the nighttime. It's just because of the, you know less daylight now in the fall time. I got done spraying the project lawn after I got done work and I just had to come home, had to get it done at my house. We got a ton of rain um, the, after that. And so I wanted to get that down, let it dry on that leaf blade uh, before we got that rain coming. So I threw on my headlamp on my head went out there and sprayed it. So as you can see, the Mountain View seed, it's really filled in. Do I have a couple problem areas? Yeah, I do have a little bit of clover. I'll deal with that in the springtime. Um, but for now, it looks really great. And there is something about that Mountain View seed. Honestly, it does come in, in my opinion, dark from the start. Um, you guys saw my trip to Tuckahoe Turf Farms. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it in the video description below. Go check out that video. It's a sod farm right here in New Jersey. They do a lot of major professional sports teams fields. They're professional, they're sod there. Uh, some of them are the Steelers, the Browns, the Eagles, the St. Louis Cardinals, the Baltimore Orioles. I mean, they do a ton of sod for a lot of major professional teams out there. And you can see they use all Mountain View seed. They use the 365 and they use the 9010 mix that I have at my own house. And it's dark there. I mean, it's dark from the get go. So if it's dark at a sod farm from the start, you could tell that it's going to come in at my own house dark as well um, and that's what i really love about that mountain view seed it just really comes in dark from the get-go uh, which is awesome that's what you want in a seed um, and it really filled in really nicely throughout the remainder of the fall overseed and my favorite part on my lawn is this section right here this is a side piece of my driveway you could see it's really nice and thick that mountain view seed it's really filled in really nicely it looks really great and of course this got hit with the liquid uh, the main event dry iron as well and as you can see it looks really great and as you can see when we come in here it is nice and thick that's what we really want to see and the green the color is really there so I just want to give you guys a little update on the side of my yard. As you guys know, this side of this yard it looked really bad uh, earlier in the season. I just had a ton of trouble with just keeping a lot of the grass alive. And it was due to some of the sprinklers. I had to move a lot of sprinklers around, but I got everything set. I'm not moving anything at this point anymore. Uh, so I'm very curious to see how this does next year. Um, but I will probably be using plant specialty at my house and then at the project lawn. 
we'll be using organic turf trade so uh, it's really great we can compare the two companies see how each one performs and obviously my house has the mountain view seed and the project lawn has the gci cool blue seed so i'm really curious as well to see the comparison between the two as well when it comes to the summer heat and you know some of that summer stress because you guys know i had some trouble here at my house with the tall fescue uh, the GCI tall fescue at my own house in the summertime so I'm curious to see how that cool blue does because it does have 15% uh, Kentucky bluegrass in it and we know that Kentucky bluegrass you know lo likes a lot more water than tall fescue does so we'll see how it does next year so it's going to be a great comparison between my house and the project lawn and just one more thing about this eyepiece uh, I don't want to hear any more complaints from anybody I power washed the fence it looks a hell of a lot better so all those people are commenting on it the fence is finally fixed it looks great i power washed it i will probably have to be doing a waterproofing of some sort probably like a thompson's water seal uh, before next season but right now it looks a lot a hell of a lot better um, so I'm not embarrassed of this fence anymore and I'm so glad I got it done before Halloween so when people walk by they don't see this hideous fence anymore behind me. And I just wanted to give you a quick update with the backyard. As you guys know we threw down the Barenbrug uh, RPR, the Regenerating Perennial Ryegrass. Um, as you can see it looks really great right here behind me it's nice and dark green it did get hit with the main event dry iron as well and it hasn't gotten any fertilizer since that uh, last fall final fertilizer application and that was with the uh, 1623 uh, fertilizer that i got at organic turf trade so as you can see it looks really great back here i'm extremely happy with everything i never had much grass in the backyard um, it was mostly just weeds um, so we didn't do any kill off we just threw down the barren brook threw down some starter fertilizer we threw down some peat moss on top and as you can see it looks really great it's filled them really nicely and i've been really extremely happy with the results back here so just to recap today's video i did throw down the main event dry iron about three days ago and as you can see it's halloween day and it looks really great uh this lawn has really popped out it looks great is there problems in the area certain areas of the yard yes there are but there's really nothing I can do at this point in the season. I'll address some of this stuff in the springtime. But for now, I'm happy with my results. This Mountain View seed, it's definitely exceeded my expectations. It looks really great. And when it really comes down to it, and I've talked about this in the past, whether you're doing something inside your house or outside your house, whether you're remodeling a bathroom, painting a house or whatever, you're planting grass seed, at the end of the day, as long as you're happy with the results and you're and you're and you did your best job that you can and you put all your time and your effort in it and you put your hard work and you, you did as much as you could, this is the best that you can do the main thing is as long as you're happy that's the main thing at the end of the day guys i've heard it from a lot of long tubers out there it's just grass honestly when it comes down to it it is just grass it's gonna die it can come back as you guys can see here you know my house it looked really bad in the summertime i mean it was it was really bad. <laughs> I threw down a ton of topsoil to level things off. It died off in certain sections, especially the front section right here. Um, and as you can see, it came back. And like the Eagles coach, Nick Seriani says, as long as you water and fertilize, <laughs> those roots are gonna grow. So shout out to Nick Seriani for that comment that he made this week about watering and fertilizing. And that's the main thing. You water and you fertilize your fertilize your lawn and you throw down some good seed like I did it's going to grow back and as long as you keep up with your fertilizer programs that's the main thing and that's what I got away with this year I didn't use the best fertilizer that I could so that's why I'm so happy I'm so so happy that I'm using a local New Jersey company right in my home state of New Jersey with plant specialty at my own house and at the project lawn with organic turf trade I am so super happy uh, with choosing those two guys I know that they're they're fertilizer is going to go a long way next year so i'm so super excited for 2022 season so if you enjoyed today's video make sure you smash that like button it really does help out with the channel it helps people find the videos on my channel and if you have any questions or concerns on today's video make sure you leave them in the comment section below and i will get back to you and like always guys i'll see you in the next one